Hey guys, I'm Edgy from Our Weekly and welcome to this Warner to General Raiding Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the heroic twin Ogron in High Mall. This encounter consists of two Ogron called Paul and Themos. To make things easy, Themos is the one with the two swords. These guys have a rather annoying mechanic to deal with because they are an angry lot. The further away they are from each other, the more anger they will get and the more damage they will do. To start off, let's talk about Paul. Paul's first ability is Shield Bash with which he will attack the tank and silence them for 3 seconds. His second ability is called Shield Charge. Like Kargoth, he will charge at a random player at 33 energy. It will again do more damage as the duration of the charge increases, and when he reaches his target he will do an AoE to nearby targets. But not only that, Paul's charge will also put a debuff doing 13.5k damage every second for 18 seconds on anyone who gets hit by the charge. So obviously you'll want to dodge this. At 66 energy, he will use his third ability called Interrupting Shout. It deals 65k damage to everyone in the raid and it will interrupt you for 6 seconds if you get hit by it while you're casting. So if he casts it, stop casting so you don't get silenced. His final ability is called Pulverize and he uses it at 100 energy. With this, the ceiling will fall in 3 stages and you will need to dodge as much as possible. In the first stage, it will fall directly on you dealing damage to everyone within a 3 yard radius. In the second stage, chunks will fall and hit anyone within an 8 yard radius, and in the final stage will drop one big chunk onto the raid, dealing more damage to you the closer you are to the point of impact. Meanwhile, you will have to deal with Femos. His first ability is Double Slash, which he will use on the tank. Now you don't really have to do anything special with this, he just deals damage. At 33 energy, however, he will use Whirlwind, which will deal damage every half a second and leave a stackable debuff on you called Weakened Defenses and Weakened Defenses will increase their damage taken by 10% per stack from Shield Bash. So this means that you have to make sure to move Femos away from the raid so that the other tank does not get this debuff. At 66 energy, Femos will use Enfeebling Roar. This will increase the damage taken by all who get hit by it in a 20 yard radius. You'll want to have as many people to get hit by it as possible to reduce the damage taken and the duration of the debuff. This is because the debuff starts at an increase of 300% damage taken and a duration of 300 seconds and that will split over the players that do get hit by it. And then finally at 100 energy he will use Quake. This will deal damage to everyone in the raid and not only that but it will also cause fire to spawn on the floor from his weapons making it harder to move. If you get hit by the fire, you will also get a stacking dot on you, so as usual stay out of the damned fire. A definitive tactic for this encounter isn't completely possible because their energy generation differs per Ogron, so you'll have to deal with different abilities at the same time. So instead here are a few things to keep in mind. Their health pools are shared, so you can cleave a multidot for the maximum effect when they are close to each other. The further away from each other they are, the more damage they will do, so you want to keep Femos on top of Paul, except for when Femos is going to do his whirlwind. Be sure to move in for Enfeebling Roar. If Paul casts Shield Charge, move away from the direction he's facing so you won't get hit. And lastly, move away from the fire, the cave-ins, and stop your casts when Paul uses Interrupting Shout. Oh, and one more thing to note. Right before the second Enfeebling Roar, for which you will need to be close to Femos, the next Pulverize will be cast. Now because of this you do not want to be stacked on top of each other due to the 3 yard AoE damage. Instead keep a light spread around Femos to take the first pulverize hit, then take the enfeebling roar hit, and then go back in your normal ranged positions to deal with the rest of pulverize. This fight will definitely test your abilities to be able to handle different abilities at different times. If you liked this rating guide please comment, subscribe and click on the like button. Be sure to check out our other content at rawweekly.net and if you would like to keep up with when new videos come out but you don't have a YouTube account, you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter at facebook.com slash rawweekly or twitter.com slash For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.